Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Darkwood. And today's objective, same as the last view, we're going to be tying up loose ends. Specifically, we're going to be heading back to the village, because you told me that there's a lot that I missed there, and a lot of people still to talk to. You also said that I could search the chicken lady's sister's corpse, which I didn't notice before. Shawl. A blood-soaked shawl. I guess I can probably go show that to the chicken lady. She surely won't be happy. But hopefully it'll be at least some consolation to the village when I restore power to the pig shed. Also, uh, I have a couple of things that I might want to show to him. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, I found a couple of things yesterday that I want to try with different people. Come on. See, I, I don't understand how pistol damage works. Sometimes it seems like it just does, like, nothing. Ow. Actually, I probably could have hit it with the shovel there. Eh, maybe I am going to start to get a better feel for how these things work. If I can start killing chompers with shovels, that would be a major confidence boost. Hello, how have I left all this here? This was right here and I didn't know it? Oh, that's a lot of stuff in that crate. I don't even remember unlocking that. Now back at the village, and <laughs> I honestly have no idea how I'm going to explain this to the chicken lady. I mean, I, I don't think she knows. I don't think my character has told her, but I'm the reason her sister was taken in the first place. I gotta be gentle about this. <laughs> Your sister's dead! Oh lordy lordy. The lady crosses herself three times. And I was given the doctor's instructions number three. Remove the growths using a sterilized knife, washed in spirits or boiled. In case the wounds or ulcerations open, put bean seeds inside. Under no circumstances untie hands and legs. In case of emergency, you'll find the path to my home in the southern edge of the old woods. So is this how I would find it if I hadn't been working with the wolfman? My sisters, where did you find it? It's all that godless quack's fault. Devil brought him. All he did was prescribe this and that, scribble this no-good drivel. To hell with them papers. The lady throws a dirty, crumpled piece of paper at me. Okay, but is there anything else I can say? I feel like I have to tell her, but there's no way that could do any good. She's arguably right to have done what she did, but... This might be the only way to save the village, and honestly, I feel like I owe them at this point. Probably better for her as well. A knife, which I can sell. And the cable. I wouldn't have even had to do this if I had just bought it from Piatrek before he left. Now that I'm here, I guess I should take your advice and start talking to people. Try and see if there's anything else I can do around here before I head off for the for the pig shed. Hello? Uh, we tried to get in there before, but uh, the thing is, everybody I try to talk to just tells me to leave. I can't fix this well, which means I can't drink from it to replenish my health. What is that noise? Is it coming from the basement door that I can see through here? 
I think the guy pounding on the door was talking about meat shipments a few episodes before when I was here. Maybe this will all get started again when I restore power to the pig shed. You guys told me that I can break down doors with melee weapons. Yeah, I know that, but it's to me that's not worth the to me that's not worth the durability on the weapons. But there's a map in here. Location already marked pig shed, okay. I guess that's where he gets his shipments from. What's in the crate? Uh, another combo lock. What happens if I try climbing through this window? Trees. Humming beautifully. Is this one of the doctor's patients, or is this just what passes for sleep around here? Doctor's instructions number two. Solution for removing intestinal parasites. Pour the petroleum over the nuts. Add propolis? Put away for a couple of days. Drink one tablespoonful per day. Okay. I used to feel bad for stealing, but now I'm just in progress mode. I suspect today will be a bit of a longer record session, but I'm okay with that. You guys have been super patient with this series, and I think it's time to kind of... get more of a move on. Are we going to be cool? You just stay right there, will you? Weapon parts, I can sell those. Is the doctor really a quack, or is he just doing the best he can do with a completely insane and unprecedented situation? Take those rags, I actually need those now. I used to be swimming in them. It's the... It's the NPCs that don't attack that really give you a look at just the desperate state of what... Presumably, we're once normal people that occupy this place. Also, if we can get any more sawed planks, that would be great. I don't really have any gas to spare, and I have to barricade two windows on my hideout tonight. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to... Well, this place is quite heavily barricaded. I was going to say, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to hit the pig shed today. That's going to have to be tomorrow's return trip. More of these markings scrawled on the ground. What do they mean? I I've been seeing them being drawn on the ground by the savages, but also at the doctor's house. never know what's going to be around the corner in these places. A uh, shiny stone? Should I maybe not disturb that? Gas, yes, that's exactly what I need. Scrap. I don't really need matchsticks. I haven't found too many uses for them, and they're so abundant, they're just kind of taking up inventory space at this point. Alcohol, always need more of that. I can hear you. Okay. I can hear something, that's for sure. What do I do now? Uh, I think I just leave, right? You won't mind if I do? Uh, should I maybe not take that shiny stone? And... Oh no, I thought it was gone. It really goes to show how just barely surviving these people are. I mean, they're the closest thing to civilization, but... It seems like they don't even check up on each other. Or if they do, there's nothing they can do for each other. It's like the people might as well be growing on these woods like moss. It's just another part of it now. This house seems to be in considerably better shape. Have we been here before? I'm not sure... The game just hitched and I heard a floorboard squeak. Does that mean something came in behind me? 
my number one gaming phobia when I feel the game load. Who's here? Nobody. Siphon? What does this do? Uh, I have no room for that battery, but I have tons of them at home. I'll just remember that this is here. I said, knowing that I absolutely will not remember that this is here. I'm very curious. I actually don't have a light source on me at the moment, but what happens if I try to enter this guy's hole in the ground? I shouldn't be doing this. Where am I? It, no, 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 there's no way. It's a shortcut to the second hideout. Oh, well, this would have been useful before. Oh, it's useful now. I might have to spend the night here. Uh, okay, let's sip from the well of life. Oh, the well is dry at the moment. I should check back tomorrow. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. There's no way I've used this today. Uh, does it maybe only work if the hideout is active? I don't think that's the case, because I was using the third hideout's well even before I claimed it. Oh well, uh, does this go both ways? Okay, if it doesn't go both ways, I'll head back. To my own hideout, that is. Oh, it does. That is incredibly useful to know. Hang on, I can't check the map right now. But man, that would have been so useful earlier on. Ah, uh, fast travel man, you've got to have more for me, come on. I will pay you so many 9-volt batteries to draw a whole network all over the Darkwood. Looks like a grown man with long, disheveled hair. He's completely covered in mud. Alright, uh, I'll continue exp- I hear you. I see you between the trees. You're the second person to say, I hear you. You will not squeeze between them. Yeah, that's what I found. It's too late for that. It seems like there's an area within the dark wood where people live. And it's almost like the wood purposely keeps them sealed in. Like the woods eventually become so dense that it just becomes a solid wall surrounding this area. It's almost like there's a sentience to it all its own. But we know people are still coming in. I mean, I came in, and it seems like there may even be some element of military involvement watching over this place, forming expeditions to come look around. Uh, there's mushrooms growing in here. Anything in the wardrobe? Potatoes and a dead rat. Don't think that's of particular use to me. Yep, no room in inventory, so it's not a... it's not a searchable. Maybe I can make the pig shed. Worst case, I'll stay at this hideout. Now if I search here, yeah, the pig shed is just to my west, not very far at all. With this knowledge, perhaps I do have time. What's out here? Savage. Haven't seen one of you guys in a while. If you're content to run away, that's fine by me. I do not have time for distractions. Ah, uh, planks. That's actually exceptionally useful, but I don't think I can take them right now. Alright, let's repair this. I don't know if that means that the situation is resolved right away. Uh, what happens if I turn on the generator? And also, will this generator lose gas? What do I have to do to save the pig shed? Actually, I get there's a lever in here, isn't there? Various cables protrude from this contraption. Some of them run through the door to the outside. There's a lever and a red button on the panel. The motion range of the lever is limited by a provisionally attached plate. A note is glued to the casing. Set the voltage using the lever. 
The lock is set to a voltage that paralyzes the sow for a moment. Procedure. The lever operator positions it in the middle. The feeder gives a sound signal. The operator then pushes the button and the feeder feeds the sow. Repeat until the feeding is complete. Remember, the sow is our common good. Do not remove the lock. Okay, so if we position it to the middle and then press the button, we can feed the sow and maybe save the village. The lever is positioned in the middle. Uh, does that mean that we fed the sow? The machine is still working, but I need to wait a bit until I can use it again. Okay. Now the question is, do we have enough time to make it back to base? Maybe? Oh, it's raining now. I always feel just that extra bit of urgency whenever it starts raining. I think it's because the increased darkness makes it feel like night is that much closer. I don't know whether to spend the night here or not. Uh, before I do that, though, maybe I can head back through the hole and see what the guy in the other building has to say about it. See, the thing is, does feeding the sow even matter now that I've killed the people there? That's gossip. Uh, people say some fella fixed that machine in our piggery. Changed them cables or some such. Maybe he's the same fella that cut it. His conscience surely got to him. Yeah, you're more on point than you know, chicken lady. It won't bring our sow's guardian to life. He was the only one daft enough not to get the jitters when feeding our sow. But lord only knows... Wait till they get hungry and ten fellas will come to take his place. The machine is working, so we just need a new volunteer. Will, will somebody do it, or do I have to look for somebody to do it? I mean, maybe video game quest lines have just conditioned me to thinking this way, but are you guys all going to starve if I don't literally guide you to food? You know, I just realized I've never actually been inside this walled-off complex. It's actually a pretty huge structure right in the middle of the village. There's got to be something to see in here, right? One of the nicer houses, too, from the look of it. I I've come to associate polished floors with wealth. Uh, anything in here? Nothing I can use at the moment. Locked. I need a key. Locked, I could open it with a lockpick. Could I now? Unlocked. Hello? Is there anybody here? Uh, the interior of this building seems to be in considerably worse shape. But that gains me access to the grounds. Question is, why is it walled off? Is it meant to be like a keep, a final fortress for if the horrors outside were to ever enter the village, or is it some village elite who likes to keep to themselves? Uh, bread ovens. Can we maybe make bread here? Locked. I could open it with a lockpick. Oh, I need another lockpick. Once again, I know you guys said I can break things down with melee weapons, but that is, it, from what I understand, it takes a long time. It takes a lot of weapon durability. Uh, I'll give it one hit just to see, because I haven't tried it since the 2x4. Oh, that's actually a tremendous amount. Never mind, that changes things considerably, but it does seem to do more damage to my item than, than it does to enemies. Oh my, what have I gotten into? Uh, corpses, wire. Uh, ironically, I could have used this wire to make myself a, a lockpick. 
There's actually a decent amount of good loot in here, though. But nothing I particularly need at the moment. And this one needs a key. I'm using so much durability. Howdy. Who the heck are you? Uh, hi, can I speak to you? No? Jar of meat, a uh, jar filled with cooked minced meat, bone. Help yourself. Whatever you fancy. But don't tell anyone about it. You're a cannibal. You are an evil cannonball. I could open that with a lockpick. Uh, do I want to, though? This thing really demands a lot of lockpicks of me, but... I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to take your wire, because I always need more. I'll take your rag. Still haven't found a use for rope. Man. Get in here. Uh, can I maybe open this door from the other side, or do I still need... No, I still need the key. Which I can probably get from you. Uh, the... You're surely doing this without the knowledge of the village. More rags, more bandages. Uh, you're surely doing this without the knowledge of the village. Maybe killing you would be the moral right thing, but maybe you won't have to anymore? Uh, now that I've saved the pig shed situation? Then again, maybe you just enjoy it. I imagine those things will probably do something for me. Some kind of effects if I eat them, or maybe some crazy amount if I try to boil them for essence, but I really don't want to mess with that right now. Alright, so note for the future. The shovel is, in fact, much more viable than the plank for knocking down doors. It can do it in two swings, but the condition cost is very, very great, so I'll have to be ready to repair it. And if I'm expecting to get into combat, it's not really going to be a good option. I really, really hope I was able to help these people out some, because... Uh, something that I've forgotten to mention until now that I saw by accident while looking up how to do something. So this lady lost Janik, who wandered off somewhere, and her sister. And as it turns out, it was both because of me. Because, from what I understand... Janik, her brother? He's the one we killed in self-defense in the back room of the doctor's house all the way back in part one. I really owe this village a lot, to say the least. But I'm going to try and make a run back from my hideout. Hopefully there's enough time. Where are you? Nope. Don't have time for you, no. No. No, yes. Got a lucky hit on, that was right at the edge. And smack. I'm actually kind of glad to have used a little bit more of the weapon durability, so it won't feel like as much of a waste when I have to repair it. And home sweet home with time to spare. Uh, what we're going to have to do is use some of our gas to get as many boards as possible because we need to barricade these windows and we need to repair our shovel. In a pinch we also have the axe, which I actually haven't tried in combat yet. I feel like there's a lot of things that I'm just not trying. Uh, I feel like I've gotten complacent. I, I think the game is giving me things that I can do and I need to kind of respond to that more. Let's grab these, and let's barricade these windows. And I'm also, I, I am awash in bear traps. I found a whole bunch of them out there yesterday, and uh, I need to put one outside of every window to prevent mishaps such as this. Also, if the Banshee manages to show up tonight, which uh, some of you guys said that I'm actually really unlucky that it showed up three nights in a row, uh, you said to try the Molotov, which makes sense because it can kill the Banshee, and then kill the babies that come and respond. You say they have really low HP, and that the fire will deny them the area that they need to come and attack me. 
So that's something to try. Like I said, I don't want to use any guns or shells during the night because I feel like I'm very likely to die anyway. But I'm fine to spare a Molotov in the name of science. There's going to be a bear trap in front of that window. And another bear trap in front of this window. So far we haven't had any problems with them trying to get through that hole in the side of the house. Actually, I'll check from the inside. I believe that wardrobe is still there. But remember, I don't want to trap the inside too much, although I could just put a carpet of glass down, uh, because really, I want to have the area to move myself. A kind of mobile defense has actually proved to be the way of the game here. Uh, some of you also said that it might be a better idea to drag the lamp into into the room with the workbench, and I can kind of get behind that. Now that the dynamic has changed a little bit, uh, question is, where is the lamp? Okay, right here. Yeah, what's great about this room is that, A, it's an interior room, so no light will leak out. Still not sure whether that makes a difference. And also, there's a couple of different ways in and out, so if I have to move, well, I can move. Now, more to free inventory space up than anything, we shall toss... Bottles down every which way. Couldn't hurt, right? I don't think it really costs me anything. And let's get ready to turn on that generator. A little extra damage for anything that walks into that bear trap. Uh, I should have, uh, I should have taken a heal from the well. That little bit of extra health can really make all the difference. In fact, I think if I had healed after stepping in the bear trap last night, I maybe could have made it. That's the thing. Whenever I die during the night, I always pay very close attention re-watching the footage. And it's there were a couple of things that I could have done differently. I think I was still pretty likely to die, but there were a couple of things I could have done differently. One of those things would have been to keep my health up. I also wonder if I couldn't have maybe used my scream, maybe reverse scream the banshee out of my way. Or at least gotten rid of the chompers and the dog. As I said, I'm not really willing to use too many resources on this. I'm not even going to bother using guns, but I will defend myself with the shovel if need be. Should also probably take the armor off since these shells are in such short supply. I was doing some reading, and I found that a lot of people try to move on from this hideout as quickly as possible. And in fact, some people even move back to the original hideout. Which seems odd to me. And you just got bear trapped. Which means we're down one. That's probably one of the windows. Got a free hotbar slot. Never want to have a free hotbar slot. Uh. What was that? Did something just get bear trapped? In the front door, maybe? Yeah, there you are. There you are. The front is sadly undefended now, although I could get another one. Let's do that. That was the easiest chomper I've ever had to deal with. Well, that's not true. The shotguns make it easier. Now let's grab another one of these bear traps. Do I not have another one? Oh, yeah, there we go. walk, because I believe running might attract additional problems. In fact, let's be at the ready, since we're going to be in a little bit of danger poking our head out here. And we could even make a run for the well, but that feels like tempting fate. What's happening? Has the Banshee arrived? No. I'm so paranoid for that thing now. And you know, in retrospect, I really, really like it as a gameplay mechanic 
because, you know, it's something different. It forces you to play a different way. And it is doable, yet very tense, so long as nothing else shows up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's a chomper. That's a chomper, and he's trying to jostle that, uh, that shelf, but it's not working for him. Maybe he'll come in the front. I should keep an ear out for that. Oh no. That's the Banshee, I think. Get ready. Uh, where's my mollies? What happened to my mollies? Where'd my Molotovs go? What happened to them? No, 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 no. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, but it's damaged. Ah, you're faster than me. Ow. Ah! Oh. Die. Thank you. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. Pills, pills, pills. Where where did half my stuff go? Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. No, Half an hour, half an hour. I can, I can, I can survive this way. I can. Nope. Come on. A few more minutes. A few more minutes. That's all I need. Go ahead. Break my door. And I made it. That might have been the most tense night yet. Oh, that's. What is that? That's two chompers killed. Uh, down several bear traps. Actually, how did the one get in up here? Oh, I see. They broke my windows down. I'd forgotten all about these. I don't even know if they broke those down last night. They might have done it even earlier. I am definitely going to have to start converting more of my more of my stuff to bear traps. Uh, but we made it, and we got the reputation. I feel what happened to a lot of the stuff in my inventory. I feel like I just lost track of my molotovs and my pills. All right. Well, let's cook our cookables and have a chat with the other guy. We definitely want to build up as much reputation as we can. Uh, since we already have so many, I think I'm going to go ahead and sell you this battery. I'm, um, of course, going to want to buy the shotgun shell. All the shells I can get. Uh, I guess I can also sell you the knife. Yeah, and then we'll get a net gain. We're actually doing pretty, pretty well on reputation now. Anytime we... See, at, at this point, I'm not expecting to survive the night here, but anytime we do... It's always a much appreciated, very nice boost. Uh, the question is, do I need this handgun frame, or should I just sell it? I think I'm going to sell it, because the pistol is already good enough, unless we get another one later. But I can't see what additional recipes there will be, because we don't have the opportunity to upgrade the workshop yet. Yeah, they got in through both of these windows. I think we also got a dog in one of them, but it probably died on first contact. All right, um, sorry if that was a little loud. I realized I was leaning close to the screen and I was probably leaning directly over the microphone. Uh, so I got a couple of things I want to sell to you. Uh, we will sell you the shiny stone that we found and the handgun frame, and that'll get us an additional 355, bringing us to over 2,000 reputation for the first time. And maybe I'll buy that fabric. I don't know yet. Uh, could definitely use the hotbar upgrade. Uh, in the meantime, is there anything else I need in the immediate moment? Uh, maybe I'll try that gas tank sometime in the near future, but uh, for now, I think I'm just going to buy another small caliber magazine and a medium caliber bullet. Uh, we've got to try to use more of our firearms uh, when we go and check out the church basement. Some of you told me that you better come strapped, uh, so we're definitely going to want to be prepared for that. And we haven't actually tried the hunting rifle yet, but it was made out to be some great reward by the wolfman. This was a very, very exciting part for me. We tied up some very long-standing loose ends, hopefully saved the village, and actually managed to take on... You know, don't forget, last night we actually did take on a chomper in head-to-head -head melee combat. Granted, it had already been weakened by the bear traps, but that's what they're for, right? Uh, in any case, uh, 
Next time might be a little bit more difficult as we go see what's in the church basement. Still, though, I can't help but feel that I'm making progress after the last episode, things felt somewhat stagnant. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to do that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.